okay so like three weeks later we are finally finishing this video i had few mental breakdown like a hundred a day it's during this time that's why i wasn't on here and doing stuff but we are back <laughs> hi Welcome to much needed March reset. It's still a few days till March, but I thought I will start earlier because I'm desperate for a reset. We gonna do all these things to try and make ourselves feel better and I hope you can join me on that. I already did one thing, which is call for the appointment for the psychology appointment because I've been feeling really anxious and I just, yeah. Um, this is like one thing I thought I will do it quick and then start chatting with you but it took like 40 minutes on the phone but it is what it is at least the doctor will call me and we will make an appointment um, for that I've been putting it away for too much time so it's it's time to like get on that because this is this is not normal how I'm feeling um, also so I will update you uh, on my chin, it's been two weeks, it's still quite stiff, I'm not great at talking and my lips still a bit like numb, but I still, I have a bit of a, like, uh, what's the name? <laughs> I have a bit of the bruising, but it's not too bad, it's kind of swollen still, but I guess it's going, it's going good, yeah. Uh, but yeah, what we need to do today for this reset, make any appointments that you've been putting off, clean up a bit the house, anything you need to that you've been putting away, laundry, whatever. Try to make yourself better by self-care, skincare, anything like wash your hair like I did in the morning. I woke up a bit earlier to kind of make myself feel better and start the day better. Do a goal planning, just try to relax and also I want to do the finance planning and see what we spent this month and what is the plan for next month. So let's start on that. Hi, good morning. Uh, sorry, is it okay if I speak only English? 
Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm calling because I wanted to uh, check. I got a referral earlier uh, last year, but I never used it. Uh, so yeah. I wanted to see if it's possible to renew it. It's for the therapy, for the online therapy. Okay, I... Uh I have the first call of the day, but hey, again, my like it's so heavy the chest and I'm like really shaky, so we'll see how that goes. But really hope this usually resets help me a lot in terms of just feeling better, feeling like I'm on top of things, and yeah, just getting it together. But I don't think if this time is the case. Um, let's see what the doctor says when they call me back in the evening. Yeah, let's get let's get to work. I am happy that I woke up today much earlier than I did in the past week um, and actually got out of bed. So that's great. But yeah, let's let's try to do as much as we can today. Let's talk budget. Oh no, are you okay? You okay? Okay, I think I think we're okay. Budget. It hasn't been that good we still have few things that we need to pay but in general let's go through each expense category and see how much we spent in basically what three and a half weeks ish of uh, this month so for groceries we so far spent 344 euros and five cents we will probably go to the store today or tomorrow just to buy a few more things for like the end of the month but 
this is like in general um, what we spent. I mean, it was quite her months. Uh, plus, we were on like few days holiday in the first week of the month, and yeah, it's a shorter month because February, but. Um, 340 usually we spent like 450 500 uh, a month for the groceries then we spent 18 euros for dining out i think it was just like uh, i went for lunch with mom i went for little lunch like coffee date with mom then we spent 130 euros 92 cents for takeout i don't think we will do more um that's like how we usually spend i was planning to do less this month but i haven't been feeling that great so i just spend more because like why not we are like 30 euros over budget then other things 34 euros 47 cents it's just like random stuff that doesn't fit into any category then home 81 euros 87 cents we are 200 euros under budget but i think i will buy a blanket from our cat um and maybe a poof so we're gonna be like 100 ish over but i didn't decide yet then useless things four euros doing great uh babies 217 euros uh and we are quite over budget what we bought bunch of things bunch of hay bunch of like litter stuff uh, a few more foods because we did like a huge order online and we just decided to buy more things uh, but we were 120 euros over budget so but that's fine they deserve it um, then health medical it was 450 euros uh, this is just like own risk insurance then I did like retain new retainer and like few other things so it was um, a bit over which is fine beauty 2580 euros which was my chin um the remainings of the payment plus i bought like a oi hair serum scalp serum thing because i heard really good things and my hair here is like kind of broken i don't know what's happening to it but it's like like uh, it's either broken or it's like new hair i'm not sure so i decided to try that serum and i will update you how that's going close to 180 euros that's when we were in edinburgh we bought a few norse face jackets for my boyfriend so i mean it's fine hobby 26 euros travel and uh, my boyfriend's traveled so far 60 but it's probably going to be another 200 he's coming back today in the evening so we'll see that my travel 125 euros i bought plane tickets to serbia and i paid for the hotel there i'm going there next week so i will probably do like what i spent in serbia in a week kind of video because i always love to watch those and i did already for new york i'm currently editing, editing one for edinburgh if you're curious it's gonna be up i think after this video and i will do one in serbia uh, then travel this is our joint travel 500 that's what we spent in edinburgh alcohol zero which is great parents 50 just mom stuff i bought a few things gifts it went a bit overboard so it was my boyfriend's brother birthday plus i gave my dad a present for his birthday because i forgot like to, sk to schedule it to budget it and i bought my friend a present that they're gonna see in serbia and party 42 euros this is just like some things um the bills they're always pretty much the same we have a few more to still budget well budget payoff then we have subscriptions and yeah this is the biggest category is beauty but i am planning well i am trying to do currently no buy really low buy for beauty for the rest of the year so hopefully that's gonna stay down for the rest mortgage obviously 16% and travel 7% uh, of like the budget I guess it was pretty okay of a month still gonna be like some more things um, yeah and for March we still need to budget um, let's do it now I guess for groceries I'm gonna budget like 400 yeah, I think 400 should be enough. Then, you know, we do want to go for a date. Let's do like 80 uh, takeout. Let's do 100 and <laughs> try to stick to it. Uh, other 50 home stuff. We do need to buy like curtains and maybe we do need to do like um, 
straightening of the walls in the spare room and I do wanna buy a, um, like a sofa bed for there and kind of renovate it to do it like as my office plus a spare room so I'm not sure I'm gonna put 300 for now because I think the rest will be like uh, as my present for my boyfriend's birthday which is at the end of March so I think I'll just pay for that renovation kind of as his and my money um, useless things let's put 50 again babies 125 because he needs uh, baby needs to get a shot uh, and maybe some other things medical 300 I'm not sure if I need to pay my maybe I need 350 if I need to pay my um, what's the name my own risk thing beauty I hope I will not buy anything but I will put 30 just in case clothes I will put 50 just in case but I really hope I will not buy anything but I just want to schedule it like um, to kind of be flexible a bit hobby let's put like 25 travel seat I don't know I don't think he's going anywhere but I will put 100 travel for us again I'm not sure we might go for her for his birthday somewhere but I'm not sure maybe just like for a day out or something maybe actually dining out should be more because I think we want to go for his birthday somewhere I will put 200 travel I will put 100 just in case alcohol maybe we will buy a few things because we run out I will just put 50 parents uh, they already left gifts again it's his birthday so I'm not sure I will put a thousand maybe I will put home more in case I do want to buy like a um, sofa bed date night oh yes we did dating out I will put like 80 then like I put before and date night I will put like 150 uh, party I will put 15 case he wants to go somewhere I don't really like and this is all pretty sad and I think here is pretty much the same okay guess that's pretty good so far for now Okay, let's talk goals for for this month. I I honestly don't have goals for this month. I do feel like it's good to set them to kind of know what you what you want to do and like know what your end goal is for whatever. So you know what to reach and where to go. You know, but because I've been feeling so overwhelmed and so like out of it. I don't think I'm gonna set any goals for this month and just take it slow take it easy like try to recover as much as possible and yeah because um, I do feel like some kind of burnout is coming my way because I've been feeling really 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 overwhelmed and like all of the signs of the burnout <laughs> they are there uh, thankfully it doesn't apply to YouTube I have been absolutely loving it and it's like a really really good kind of place to escape for me and place to go and to chat and to just yeah I, I'm I've been loving doing this I've been loving editing it's like so I don't know it, it's just <sighs> I can just sit at it and it's just gonna be so like so relaxing for me but also can be stressful oh my god i don't know what i'm talking about anymore anyway corporate burnout <laughs> coming up <laughs> in the next season i yeah it's just i don't know it's super frustrating like this this things like i don't wanna i don't wanna like talk about it much if you if you've been experiencing corporate like nine to five burnout do let me know how like how you manage that how how you how you get over it because 
I think it's for me it's been kind of coming to it for the past four years and I never took a break I never take like sick leave I I take my holidays but like I I don't know it's just been a lot so I'm gonna be super easy on myself in terms of goals for this month I guess the only goal is to kind of figure out what's happening there <laughs> and how to how to fix it uh, another goal is to start therapy because I've been putting it away for way too long and there is nothing wrong with like therapy and talking about your problems to, to the therapist and to try to figure out what's happening in your brain so that's another goal start therapy figure out what's happening get better well get better is a stretch but <laughs> kind of know how how to go to that get better state yeah so this is it for for our reset um let me know what you're doing to kind of reset for the months do you do resets do you do like uh sunday resets maybe so i'm curious to know what's been helping you but yeah in general resets are super helpful to kind of just understand where you're going to reach like to to set those milestones for yourself to kind of understand if you're doing budgeting like where your money is going like kind of it big paints bigger picture what's going on in your life those resets so that's super helpful and uh, they're also really great to kind of like do a live admin day with like making appointments canceling appointments canceling subscriptions or ordering stuff so ordering stuff that you've been wanting to order or that's been sitting in your cart and just going through that and kind of figure out what you need what you don't need anymore so that's like a great day for that i hope you enjoyed this video of me kind of like <laughs> complaining um i hope you're having a lovely day and spring is soon to come so i hope we will all feel better with more sun out there and warmer weathers yeah and spring is usually like the best months of them all so i'm excited for that and i hope my this i can talk soon i need to figure out my lip situation filler because i feel like it's either like because my lip is numb but my upper lip is okay so i don't know what's happening in this situation but we will figure it out okay i will see you soon bye